Well, the timing of this certainly looks to be more than a coincidence. Uh, Congress left town uh, earlier this week, as you noted, without passing this very critical funding package that the president had asked for back in October. It would have been $60 billion in new money to help fund Ukraine's war effort, and they just couldn't get it done. Uh, there were disputes over the border, and that has held it up until early next year. So where that has left Joe Biden is looking for another way to go after Russia and try to somehow slow Putin's role as he is uh, gaining, if not ground in, uh, in Ukraine itself, but at least gaining momentum. Do you get the sense that there is enough critical mass to actually get some sort of additional aid passed for Ukraine in the new year, or is this going to get really drag out beyond what Ukraine can handle in order to uh, keep up their counteroffensive? Well, that's a great question, because what we're seeing is lawmakers saying that they will take it up in the new year. Before leaving town, Chuck Schumer on Tuesday told reporters, including some of ours up on Capitol Hill, that it was just a difficult issue to get agreement on. And it's not just the Ukraine aid. Uh, the support remains high on Capitol Hill and in uh, the American public. When you look at uh, surveys nas taken nationally, they still support Ukraine's war effort. The trouble is, a number of lawmakers including some Democrats, are wondering whether we need more border security and more needs to be done as a record number of migrants come here. So that has been the issue standing in the way. They will have to get this done when they come back the week of January 8th, with only 10 days before another big deadline where they have to enact a funding package to avoid a government shutdown.